Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop? And the three round tears, of course! But... Might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Noisy Boy here and I'm back with some more God of War. And we're going to be continuing on with a side quest in this one. Well not a side quest, a place that I just haven't been to before, it's called Nilfheim. We're going to go check that place out, but before we get started guys remember, if you're enjoying the series so far, remember to smash the like button to support my channel if you're new. Feel free to subscribe, because I love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comments section below. Now, I actually did two of the Dwarven favours off camera called Hail to the King and Fire and Regine, which is where I've got my gauntlets and waist piece. Um, they're only legendary status, but my chest piece, which is the Poultry of Arcane Might, is, which is my favourite um, chest piece, was actually better than the Dwarven Armour of Legends, so you actually get to pick either between Sindri's sin or Brock's. And because I'm more of a attacking type player, I picked Brox, and it actually doesn't look too bad. Its stats are all right, um, but to be completely honest, they're not too bad. To be completely honest, but at the same time, they don't really look that great. Uh, I think they only go up to two stones, I think it is, and we're about to go to Milfheim which is what I've read up on, we can get some more armor and higher tier armor than these, so I kind of thought, well, what's the point of showing you guys those two episodes if I'm going to um, upgrade it in this one? Um, so I didn't really do much upgrading to the armor as well, but I did want to showcase it just if you guys were wondering what it looked like. I didn't have enough to get the chest piece, I just had enough to get the gauntlets and the um, waist because I thought that I liked the look of my chest piece that I have on now and it was pretty much exactly, not the exact same stats but these are pretty much the same but I like the look of this one better than the other one not to say that it wasn't bad armor, it was good but hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have even better armor and hopefully end game armor well from what I've read anyway you actually go on, online on the wiki and check out what Nilfheim's all about um, but I did want to show this one just because if this armor is as good as I think it is, it's probably going to be our end game armor. So I wanted to show what I did to get the whole set. So let's go. Again, like I said before, I haven't been there. I'm going to be taking the blessing of the frost too, just so you guys know when Leviathan's wake. I went with the rampage of the um, Fur Furies because it just you know it's pretty good, and the Tartarus rage is not too bad. If you keep holding R2, he actually you know, does a, a bigger wave and a bigger slam down too with a second one. Don't mind that too, but it looks cool. But I, I like that one better, I think. <laughs> Alright. Got the Dwarven Brothers to unite as one entity. Ah, Niflheim. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. So it pretty much just completes the realm of the fog just by coming here. So it is a hidden area. Oh. What is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Boy. Niflheim. Yes, sir. Well, that's weird. Let's see. What is that stuff? Weird. Yes. Mist echoes. Strange material. Not quite sure what that is, but it almost poisons me without poisoning me, if that makes sense. It takes down your health slowly, so I guess you're going to have to just stay in that mist for a certain amount of time. 
I should probably test to see how long you can actually stand there before you die. Oh, we should have plenty of time to get this chest though. A jagged sign of tenacity. Oh, and look who it is. Of course. Ah, fancy seeing you two here. Just thinking the exact same thing. I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. Of all these workshops, so retrieve 500 mist echoes. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor, and I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny feces off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. What the hell? Well, there's something written here. Of all these workshops, these cursed ruins hold rare mist echoes used to crafting magnificent armor. The enemy's traps and treasures will resist. Or reset upon your return with each escape with each can at least the workshop claim your life okay that's incredible Atreus focus this is a dangerous place that's dwarven creativity for you impressive and dangerous so you this slowly drops your health but whatever you kill in here gives you mysticos so let's find something to kill or find in the treasure box So I just have to be careful after... Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, I guess the enemies aren't that bad. Worth the hit. Okay, so these enemies are not even that bad anyway, they're just the same as like normal dudes. Oh shit, he got me. Put some damage on me too. A bastard. Not today. Take that asshole. Boom. I said a lot. So how do I know how much mysticos I've got? Oh yeah, that increased my gauge. Oh there we go. 192 mystic is that it? For shame. So opening chests um puts that uh, counter up too, so the hell is that? Father, the curse. So it said you can reset the bar by leaving. But does that reset your echoes too? Retrieve 192 echoes from Valdi's workshop. So do I just go back in and it builds up or? I think that is the case. I think you save it. Oh shit, these guys. Oh. Got some speed on him. Oh, nice. Oh shit. Get him, doggies. Oh, 
Oh, you're going nowhere, boy. Oh, shit. Not today. Okay, get away, doggy. So this increased my bar last time, and it did it again. So we should just be going for, like, um, chests. Because that will increase my bar so I can stay out here longer. So 240. So I'm almost there. Um, oh, there's a chest there. Maybe this will push me over. Well, I left, I banked 192, so what's that? For 530, so we can go back and collect that workshop tool, but we'll see how far we can go before shit hits the fan. Be aware, though, that if we do this and we die, we lose everything, so it is a risky business. But if I get the Evaldi's workshop armor and it helps that bar not to go very high, or low I should say, then we can stay out here more longer and collect more mist echoes, so that's always a good a good thing, and I don't know if you guys noticed, when I reset the area, it changed, like when I first came into that area, the entrance area, on the left side was a chest, then when I first came in here there was no chest, so interesting stuff might be worth noting maybe the area itself changes altogether I keep looking at my bar. I should probably What's head on back. Into a mist -free area? I've got more than enough, I think, so... If I can bank this... Plus the 192 I've got, I should have more than enough. Then I can get that key and move on to the next spot. Brother, it's time to go. Boom. <clears throat> now hopefully they all gather. Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. I've oh, done it. Nice. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves are eye of power. Marvels out of the mists of Nifelheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I've so got 721. Hmm, interesting. I want to buy the entry stone. I have to anyway. So now I can make the Avaldi's armor set now. I don't have enough. <coughs> the pulgins look alright. And it starts at level 7, so this is what I mean by in game armor. I can upgrade that. Ooh, very good. Grip of the maze. It's probably something I should get just for the fact that I can come down here more often. Similarly, there are still a small amount of health and increases the amount of time credits can stay in the cursed mist of Nilfheim. So I probably should get that too. Was there something else? Well, now that we have the key, we'll stumble on and see what else is around. But, as you can see, we're not doing too bad. Right, see if things reset again. Oh no, it had to be then, didn't it? Ooh, you little bitch. Oh, maybe she can stay right there. Oh, crushed. Nice. Not today, son. Oh, that guy did. Those little bastards are everywhere. Get him, doggies. Boom, that's him to get off. Now, I did see a couple of chests around here. This one.
<clears throat> Got a feel like it, um, Mystic, Mystic Coast, I should say. Chuck in this. This is what I brought with my Echoes before. So that is the Dwarven Favor complete. The Baldi's Workshop. Now I'm going to do a Baldi's Protection. Don't see any chests down that area. I think I might just move on for now. Um, just to go and see what is actually through here. The mist is thinner up here. That's nice. Ooh. I feel as if this is like a boss area, so maybe I should just tread carefully. The last thing I want to get into is a boss fight in this area, especially with the mist echoes. Maybe I can try and get as much as I can before finishing up. Is that the armor? It looks kind of run down. Of all these rusted armor. No, it is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf. Maybe you can craft me something good. Nice mystic host. I don't even know sure how much I've got now. Jeez, we must have at least, I don't know, 500 or something? Maybe a bit more? Plus I had 200 banked as well. Wonder if, well... I don't know what those tears do. Might be best to come back here later on. It looks like I've got 1400 mists as well. Also, you need mists to unlock those. Oh, okay, I see. Maybe I can have enough just to open one of these chests. Just which one do I open though? That's the problem. I should have way more than enough now. Okay, so... I think there was only a couple of chests that I couldn't open anyway. Is this still out? Yeah, well, we'll head on back anyway and, um... Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll go this way, I think. I think this is the way. So we just have to... Oh, what the hell? They respawn. I don't know that. The bastard. Boom! See, he jumped into it. See that? This guy, not today. Got the invincible frames, y'all. Should be one more left. A little best. Oh, I got him nice. Nice. Took a fair bit of time to fight, though, as you can see, with my mist went like half of my bell um, bar. But we gotta be rolling in echoes now. Which way? 
curious, I actually want to go on a bit of an exploration, but it's probably not the best idea right now. So much just hit him actually to see how much we've banked. Okay. Let's see what he has to say. Is that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop. And the three round tears, of course. But might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. And that's the Valdi's protection done as well. I just want the armor. That's the only reason why I'm still here. <clears throat> still short by... Shit, a fair whack, I think. So I need to work on actually getting some more mist... Uh, I can't even read that. What is that? Is that 800? You don't need it, don't buy it, I always say. So, what does that mean? I swear I had more than that. Alright, let's see what we can do. Might as well just farm around here for a bit, I guess. Or maybe even just come back when I am done. See, I might just do that instead, so I'll be back in two seconds. Alright guys, here we are back again. I should have enough. Be careful. Also ventured in further and found myself a Valkyrie of all places. So, we get to pick which one we want. I think I'm going to go for the Pauldrons. My kind of style and it has regenerating essence too, so pretty good stuff. And this is definitely in-game tier stuff. Gotta like that. Can't upgrade it just yet, I need more mist and some haze weave shit. And some smoldering ember as well, I don't know what he Oh, that's from Musselheim, isn't it? Yeah. Blades of Chaos can't be upgraded yet. Berim Stone, I don't mind those ones. I've also got the Guard of the Valkyrie as well. So we're looking in pretty good shape, to be totally honest. Talisman of the Rounds. Looking very, very good indeed. Uh, we do need the. <coughs> excuse me, we do need. Well, I'll take these off and just put it on. That's the Brimstone one. I love those ones. That's pretty cool though, you can see that glowing green misty stuff. And it starts with three enhancement slot enchantment slots too, so. Obviously that one, and as you can see, we're in level 7, Whoa, man. And those two are level 7 too, which is crazy. Artifact of the Blight. Oh, okay, so we can actually take that into the mist. Okay, no worries, that's alright. But you really want these yellow ones just because they are the top tier. But there's nothing I really want though, to be totally honest. They're all very low activation perks. I'm probably just better off getting, you know, that's got a high chance, so that will do. That increases luck and cooldown. That increases defensive vitality. It's probably the better one to go for. It's only a low activation perk, but we might as well just put it on just for the stats. Now, as you can see, my strength has gone up to 210. Very good. What I'll probably do off camera too is just try to farm and search deeper into the traps and the mazes for the rest of the armor set. Because they're pretty badass. Pretty badass indeed. Well, that's pretty much about it, I think, guys. Um, 
Like I said off camera, I'll try and farm for some more Mrs. Deco's shit. You are standing at the entrance Get that all started. A testament to the ingenuity of dwarven engineering. Why dwarven it engineering. So it's quite foul. Boy. Not quite sure how much further in we'll have to go to get right to the end, but anyway guys, that is Nilfheim. Not completed, but at the same time pretty well worked in. So Anyway guys, if you did enjoy that, remember to smash the like button and support my channel. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments in the comment section below. I am your host, Noisy Boy. Thanks for coming on by, and as always guys, stay noisy.